Okay, welcome back to another video with Cooking with Mr. Dan. So today, it's uh, 8 o'clock at night, sometime like that. Uh, it's July uh, 2nd. Uh, Brandon's in the house. There you go. Hey, you and what we're going to do is, uh, Brandon's got a pizza recipe, and uh, we're going to do that. He's from Georgia. We've known his grandparents for a long time. His parents for half the time, and then we've known him the rest of the time. So he's gonna make us a pizza that I've never had before. So let's get to it. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. Okay, so as per usual, I've already started. We got the dough here. This is my homemade dough. We got that going. He's got uh, macaroni and cheese here. Here we have it. And it, it, this has a mix of uh, the regular cheese and then some of this here, uh, Newman's Own Alfredo sauce mixed in there. And also in there, I got uh, the same thing, Newman's Own Alfredo sauce, with a little bit of this for to make it a little pink. And then we're gonna have a little bit of mozzarella on top. Oh, and then we have a special ingredient. And then we've got popcorn chicken we're gonna put on there. So I think this is gonna be a delicious dish. So let's go, we're on it. Okay, so I have my oven preheated at 500 degrees. The dough is ready. All the ingredients is ready. Now what we need to find out from Mr. Brandon here is where he got this recipe from. So I've never actually made this recipe. Um, I've made a lot of pizza before, and I think Dan has too. But um, this what I may, I'm going to make for my daughter um, because I cannot get her to eat a full meal to save my life. And this is her food groups that we're going to go with today. The popcorn chicken, the macaroni and cheese, and her favorite color is pink, which would be the sauce choice that we have here. Um, I think all kids on the brat diet are definitely going <laughs> to like this one. Okay, let's get to it. Like I said, we got the oven preheated. I'm just pushing the dough a little bit more. And uh, Mr. Brandon's going to go to do what he got to do. So I've made macaroni and cheese pizza before, um, but it's it's been a while, and one thing that I kind of did mess up on, and I think a lot of people do, is baking it all together because it dries everything out. So I think we're going to try something a little different today. Also, I haven't done this, so everyone here is going to be our guinea pig, so to speak. I'm going to throw this down and like as a kind of like a cheese pizza, but less of a less cheese on it than normal. I'm going to mix together the macaroni and cheese with some more shredded cheese and get it all melty gooey together and throw that on top with the popcorn chicken and throw it back in to melt together um, versus kind of the dry macaroni and cheese pizza where it's just thrown on top of cheese pizza. I'm hoping this turns out better than that, but we'll see. It could be delicious or disaster. Okay. So what I just understood you saying, we're going to take this and throw it in the oven the way it is now, or are you going to put something else on it? I'm going to throw some cheese on it, like a cheese okay, pizza. Okay, okay. Um, just not to, I'm not going to kill it with cheese because I'm going to add all the macaroni and cheese mixed with more cheese. Okay, okay. This might be pretty good, I think, huh? <laughs> if you like cheese, I like Alfredo sauce. The pizza sauce, What? how we made it uh, like a pinky, pinky color, pinkish color, whatever, is we mixed the uh, Alfredo sauce and a little pizza sauce together to get this color sauce. I'm kind of hoping I get the pizza flavor out of the sauce because I think all I think all adults over the age of 20 have like either acid reflux or GERD at this point. <laughs> yeah. And I'm one of them. What's that you want to just let it go. All right, sprinkle a tad bit of cheese on here. Using mozzarella cheese, whole milk mozzarella. Shredded mozzarella. Kind of, kind of lightly put it over here just to where I can still see the sauce underneath it. But not the kind of cheese pizza that would goo in your mouth at first. It will be after. After we add the macaroni and cheese. Okay. 
I'm, I'm liking the way this is looking. So it's, you know, everything's coming out good. So how long do you think that, uh, that with the oven at five not minutes. even five minutes. Like, we'll just watch it. We'll put it in there. I'll check it at three. <clears throat> we just want the cheese to melt, right? Yep. Just get a little melty and the crust to golden up a little bit. It, it'll not puff up. up, but puff up. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pop this baby in the oven. The oven, like I said, is at 500. I'm going to pop it in my normal temperature for my cast iron. And we're going to put it in here and we'll watch it. And then I'll tell you right now, we're going to put a two minute timer on here and let that go. And then in two minutes, we'll see what it looks like. And I might rotate the pan. We'll be right back. Okay. So as you guys can see, this is very hot. Don't touch it, but it's melted. And, uh, Brandon in the background there, two went up with the sous chef Mike. <laughs> We're melting up some more cheese with the macaroni here. And he's going to take it away right now. All right. So this is my concoction I put together while Dan was doing the preheat on the pizza. It's really just macaroni and cheese that we talked about earlier. Some butter to help it loosen up a little bit. And a lot of cheese. Do however much, measure the cheese with your heart, matter of fact. Uh, <laughs> Daniel's gonna love it, I'm telling you. <laughs> all right. That'd be up. All right, so once we get that all kind of mashed, mixed together how we want, I'm gonna spread it out over the top, top it with popcorn chicken, throw it back in there. Well, you can use your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I use my hands all the time. That's the best mixing machine you got. I think Raylan's gonna eat it with her fingers, so it doesn't matter go. much. Yeah. All right. Throw that out on top of there. I'm gonna try to hit the spots I maybe miss some cheese with first, but I think I'm gonna have plenty to cover everything we need to do here. I think this is gonna be a good pizza. Watch you don't burn yourself on that pan. That wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, well, that's hot. I got news for you. <laughs> that one happened on top of my hand in the oven the other day. I hit the uh, barb somehow. All right. Oh, yeah, this looking good. good. Trust me, if you don't get full on a slice or two of this, there's something wrong. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a heavy pizza. I think I think our, my daughter's going to eat off the top of it. <laughs> It'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, spread out enough. I'm gonna throw a little bit more cheese on top of it and then add the popcorn chicken. And then we're just gonna throw it back in until everybody gets happy. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a good pizza, dude. <laughs> oh, a little extra love there. there yeah, I was getting the two little coats going. Now we're putting on some popcorn chicken that I picked up at Walmart, I believe. And that's going to be good. I like the sauce idea, though. I, you know, I never thought of that with uh, an Alfredo sauce. And then with the, I, we just added, I added a little pizza sauce to it to make it change color. But yeah, I think it's going to be good. Put a little drizzle of that sauce on top of there too, if you want. That's a good idea. I changed the uh, macaroni sauce a little bit. I, just because I didn't want it to be over salty and over stringy, because I didn't want to dry this out even further than the pizza is. There we go. One more for good measure. <laughs> Two more. That's right. The rest of the chicken goes to the chef and the chefette and the Mike, <laughs> Chef Mike, <laughs> whatever. Chef Mike. <laughs> and top it off with a little pretty. Add some sauce to the top. Sauce that. You want a spoon for the sauce or what do you want? Oh, I already tossed that one. That'd be good. All right. I'm going to add a little more Alfredo sauce here to 
give us a little bit more juiciness, I guess you can say. I'm not allowed to say that. Emma says I can't say that word no more, so I'm not saying it. <laughs> and then we're going to top this off with a little pizza dust over here. The uh, yeah, There you go. Give it a little pizza flavor. All right, now we're going to pop it back in the oven for probably 8 to 10 minutes. Maybe sooner. Just depends. Whoa. Dude, that's fucking heavy. <laughs> They'll hear that. Okay, guys, we'll be back when it's done. We'll show you what we got. Okay, my friends, there we have it. Brandon's Specialty Pizza. So it looks pretty good. We're going to let it cool down a bit, and then we're going to slice her up. It looks pretty good, though. Okay, guys, we're going to slide this out so you can see. It's going to slide right out of there. This is nice, huh? Nice cast iron skillet pizza. A la Brandon, huh? <laughs> okay, guys, now Mr. Brandon's gonna slice up his own creation. Take a peek, gotta look under there. Nah, I'll just find your fingers, man. <laughs> it looks good, it looks good. <laughs> it looks good. Wait, so do you guys, in Florida, you guys catch your pizzas like triangles or like yeah, squares? Just, no, triangles. Triangles, okay. The, the, old, the old people style, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Watch your fingers, that's hot. You're cutting it like a pro. I'll no, just swing the pizza. Come on. There you go. <laughs> this cutting board is bigger than I expected. Yeah, it is big enough, huh? Trying to keep all the yeah, that's, that's, what, that's how we do. Yeah, just, just cut it. Yeah, that's good. Trust me, when you're uh, working with Penny with her little uh, dietary habits, <laughs> that's what we do. Cut them small like that. Man, that smells delicious. I'm not kidding. It looks pretty damn good. Oop, looks pretty good. All right. So uh, we're going to be back in a moment. I'm going to plate this up. Mr. Brand's going to give you a taste test. Okay, so Mr. Brand's going to give us a taste test and tell us what we got. Hot. 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 Told you it was hot. That son of a gun's still hot. Oh, man, that looks good. Penny's going to like that cheese action. He's giving a thumbs up. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. Mr. Brandon's specialty pizza. All the way from Georgia. Okay. This is Mr. Dan saying, give us a like, thumbs up, share with your friends, neighbors, and everybody else. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. When you do, a little notification bell will pop down. You hit that. That will notify each time that we have another video come up. And then right below that video, there will be a little arrow down box. You hit that, and our complete recipe and everything else will come out there for you. Till next time, stay home, my friends, and we'll bring you back another pizza just like this. This is Mr. Dan saying, we're out.